Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, this video, we will take a look at the Giant Pi V6R single band handheld radio. Now, you may have seen this radio before, but under a different brand. Now, I believe there are a couple of different brands out there, such as Abri and TXQ. In fact, later in the video, I will show you the programming software that's used with the TXQ G63. Now, the V6R can be programmed to work anywhere between 400 and 480 megahertz, both narrow and wide FM with DCS or CTCS tone squelch if required. Now in the box, we find the usual accessories such as antenna, lanyard, desktop charger, and a manual. Also a little belt clip, which attaches to the battery. Now the manual itself is rather thin on the ground, but as this radio does not have a display, then I guess there isn't too much to talk about. Now the radio itself can store up to 16 channels, which can be changed using the two small black buttons found on the left side of the radio. Now above these two buttons, there's a large orange PTT button, which of course is used to transmit. On the right hand side, we find the usual speaker mic sockets, which also doubles up as a programming port. Now what's nice about this radio is that you can charge the battery using a USB-C cable so no need for the desktop charger when you're out and about. Much more convenient in my opinion. The USB-C socket is just below where the speaker mic connection is. Now the top of the radio hosts the antenna connection, which is obviously removable and you can attach an outside aerial or a better quality antenna if required. Also on the top, there's just one large rotary control. Now this is used to turn on and off the radio and also adjust the volume. Now the battery is labelled as being 5000 mAh, but I doubt that's the case, along with the advertised 8 watts of RF power. Now we'll check that later. The front of the radio has an interesting design with a kind of rugged feel. This radio comes in different colours if required, so the green one may look like kind of military, but I assure you there is nothing military about this radio. With that being said, it does feel very solid. And if you run out of bullets, I'm sure it would hurt someone's head if you threw it at them. Now, the first thing we will want to do is to hook it up to the computer and program some channels. As there's no screen, we don't really know where it's transmitting and receiving when it comes from the factory. So to be cautious, let's use the software. Now, as mentioned earlier, I'm using the CPS for the TXQ G63, which works perfectly. I've also tested this with Chirp while selecting the Abri A63 model, and it also works. The programming cable that I'm using is just my generic cable, which supports many radios. Now, if you don't own one of these, then you really need to get one. Now, I'll perform a memory read, and then I'll program in 15 of the UK PMR frequencies, just for receive, as this radio would not be permitted to be used on the UK PMR band. Channel 16, I'll program to my local 70 centimeter repeater. So now I have some frequencies programmed, let's see what I can hear on the PMR band. For this, I will connect an external antenna. Yeah, no JP outbound main gate, headed over to gate two. Hi, Jake. Alright, copy that, I'm on approach. Oh, that's all, mate. Now we've heard how the speaker sounds, so let's take a listen to how the audio sounds when transmitting. As usual, I'll use my SDR Play SDR receiver to listen in. I test two different channels, which one has a compounder on and the other doesn't. Can you guess which one is which? This is channel one, this is channel one. This is channel one. Testing, testing, or channel one, channel one. This is channel two. This is channel two, testing one, two, three, four, five. This is channel two, testing one, two, three, four, five, over. Now when it comes to check the RF output on my power meter, we can see that it's nowhere near eight watts. In fact, this particular reading of just around one and a half watts is pretty flat across the whole of the supported frequencies. Also, when we check the RF output on a spectrum analyzer, it's disappointing to see that the first harmonic is around 30 dB down from the fundamental on 446. That's also the same on the 70 centimeter handband around 434 megahertz, 
So just be wary if you're using this radio on the hand bands. With its USB-C charging and small form factor, it's the kind of radio that you'll just chuck in your backpack and away you go out for the day to stay in contact with your loved ones, friends or even children. If you like the look of this radio, then I'll leave a link down below where you can maybe get one from. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.